Hello everyone, welcome to another Thursday at the Art House Studio. My name is Karen Ellis and this is Halloween week. Yay, Halloweenies. So um, I decided I was going to make a little something to put on my door for the trick-or-treaters tomorrow night. That's if I stay home. <laughs> Oh, well, I could take it off if I'm not there, right? <laughs> it's all good, but we should, but I'd love to have something. So um, I thought I'm going to do a project and I had one of these burlap canvases. Now this is just um, burlap that we have here at the studio that we stretched over a 16 by 20 uh, stretcher bar and uh, it's good to go for some uh, fun details. And I thought I could hang that on my door instead of a wreath and um, Kathy says, ooh, I'm gonna start a new trend to put a canvas on your door. <laughs> hey, it works, it's all fine. So the other thing is I got out the Scan and Cut machine because they have some really fun pre-programmed um, Halloween uh, imagery on it. And I had oodles and oodles of, of foam here at the studio. I thought I'm gonna use it because I just like the texture and Halloween's a good foamy kind of, you know, holiday, it's all good. I didn't, um, I did come across a couple of things. I had some better foam than others. <laughs> the really cheap dollar store foam cut much better because it was just under that two millimeter mark that they recommend for the scan and cut machine. Um, the stuff that was a little bit questionable is a little um, um, rough around the edges and not cut as cleanly as the dollar store foam, but you know what, that's okay, it's Halloween and it actually adds to it, don't, don't you think? Kathy is here, Jed is here. We're all good. No Rocky Horror this year? Yeah, there'll be Rocky Horror. I'm sure there'll be Rocky Horror. My daughter will be so upset if I don't go to Rocky Horror this year. <laughs> Ready, Freddy. So um, I gathered a few things. So I, ha I have um, some witches hats, some black cats, some pumpkins, um, a couple of skulls. Um, I did get some rope. I do have some rope in my notions area here at the studio. And uh, I went on YouTube and thought, Surely there'll be somewhere on YouTube that tells you how to make a noose. Go yeah, look at that. I made a noose. So, you know, don't come to the studio and make me angry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whatever. So it's all good. Like I, so, wow, that came out of my mouth, didn't it? All right, World Wide Web, here we go. So here it is, make a noose. So I can kind of show you. I think I remember how to do that without having to look at the YouTube. But I will post the link to that on my blog, theArthousestudio.ca. Um, the blog is uh, arthousestudio.blogspot.com. But you can link from my website as well. So it's all good. Love the Skulls is a file I can download. Um, it's a scan and cut file, um, one for the brother. I'm not sure, it's already pre-programmed into the machine. Um, I am not sure to be perfectly honest with you, but there's got to be vector files of Skulls around that you can get for it, for Karma. It's all good. So I have those. Now this is my favorite and I'll show you how I did it. I have strips of um, some outdoor uh, fabric, a little thicker than the, like a regular cotton but I had six of these fun eyeball erasers <laughs> that I got at the dollar store um, years ago. We were, you know what we did with these? We, we used to make um, Halloween cupcakes one year and I got a whole bunch of little things to make those and that's where this came from, was an old project. So I made, the, I made flour eye, with eyeballs in them <laughs> and I think that's hysterical. I love that. Um, so I'll show you how I did that. We're gonna put all this together tonight and I will have some fun, some fun to put up on my, on my door for Halloweenies. Here we go. So I hope you all had a good time this past weekend. I know I was at the Creative Festival here in Toronto and we had a great time. The Canadian Scrapbooker booth, it was nice. Some people came and introduced themselves to me, which was awesome that you watched this broadcast. So thank you for that. It was nice to meet some new people. I am going to just, I'm using my three in one. Woo, Jen, you did fill it. <laughs> Woo, it came out fast. Jen, who was just, <laughs> um, wow. <laughs> she was uh, got the three in one glue. This is just from Beacon. It is a fast, dry grip. I fixed my shoes with this one year. <laughs> it's a good glue. I love it, I use it for a lot of stuff. And fabric included and um, she filled the bottle and that came out really well 
I was getting all prepared to like squeeze it because sometimes when it gets down to the end, um, some of the it, it evaporates a little bit and uh, it gets thick, yeah. But no, I knew what you were doing. It's all good. But at the same time, it was it was kind of funny. So this trick or treat is cut out of foam. I'm sure you can get some foam from the dollar store. But this is a good thing about the scan and cut, right? Because all I I was gonna do that, and it's done. And I don't have to have bottles of the little foamy bits with the letters I'll never use. Yeah. <laughs> What's that? Pick your own font. Pick my own font. I, yes, I know. It's just a basic one. Yeah, you liked that font that those people chose for the stencil, didn't you? Yeah, I did some custom stencils for um, uh, some customers of mine here, and uh, they uh, printed off what they wanted word-wise for a stencil in this really neat font from their from their computer, and it cut beautifully. So I was really pleased. You love the skulls. Da, da, da. Now, here we go. So I'm going to have gluey fingers here for this broadcast. Perfect timing because I think I'm going to use some silks as well. Now, I did have silks in a sale this week, the last week, I guess, here in the studio. So um, very popular, always very popular. And I'm going to be placing a new order because I hear they have new colors. <sighs> yeah, just what I needed, right? But as the weather starts to turn, for those of you who do like silks and order from them online, please get your orders in soon so I know because uh, they do freeze and I don't ship silks at the winter time. So if you order from me online and you're interested in silks, now is the time. Okay. Trick or treat. This is just some papyrus. Papyrus, papyrus, papyrus. Papyrus, you know that Egyptian writing tablet stuff. <laughs> That's what this is. Um, I do have some in a 9 by 12 version here at the studio. We thought that would look really neat on the burlap. Okay, so there's that. So that's on. I've already glued two pieces for my hats. They're all ready to go. My, my skulls are ready to go. I do need to glue together my pumpkins. The pumpkins. So that's the other thing. I did this scan and cut was easy with, uh, I threw a little bit of black foam and orange foam and cut them all out at the same time. And this was the dollar store foam, so it cut clean. <laughs> that's so funny. Do you think that's funny? Not all felt, sorry, not all foam is made the same. You bought, very cool. Karma says she has a machine too that, uh, a similar one that uh, does for fonts and stuff. She's a font maniac. Mm -hmm. Cool, cool. All right, almost done here. And then all my pieces are gonna be glued together and I'll show you how I did the little fabric rosy thing. Kathy's giggling because Kathy made eyelashes for them. <laughs> Do you guys do um, Halloween? Get all ready, dress up, have some fun. Your house, your yard. What's that? You're going quick. I'm going quick tonight. It's because you're all prepped there. I'm, pre I'm prepped, shockingly enough. You're ready. Enough. Shockingly enough, I am prepped. Uh, well, I knew what I was going to do this afternoon at 3 o'clock. You should do it now at 6.25. <laughs> 6.25, Karen's like, what am I going to do? But yeah, well, it's because I had this, you know, let's just get it out. I want something for, you know, when you're on a mission to get something done for a holiday, hey, tick-tock, time's ticking. It's tomorrow. <laughs> tick-tock. <laughs> Carmen says, that's a shock knowing what you're going to do beforehand. <laughs> I know! And that's what they're commenting on. Well, I only knew. <laughs> Let's be honest. It was only a matter of a couple of hours. <laughs> it's like, what can I do? Ooh, I can do this. And ooh, we can add that. <laughs> ooh, let's make a noose. <laughs> it's all good. I have to show you. I, I'm going to have to show you guys. Okay, so the little uh, flowers. 
Put the eyeballs in them. <laughs> um, all I did was I took some of that fabric and I'm just gonna grab my scissors, chop off some of this uh, salvage here. There we go. Kind of fold it in half. This is about, uh, what would you say, about an inch and a half wide, approximately, just a strip. It's not very even. I just kind of cut it really wonky. And I'm just gonna glue the edge together. And then put some glue on the end. And just kind of make a little circle-y thing. Now I'm already covered in glue, so I'm making a pocket right now to put the eyeball. <laughs> Still sounds so bad. <laughs> You'd have a lot of Halloween in England. It's so sad. Plus, uh, we have no Thanksgiving, so the summer's over and we go straight on to the C word. <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> I hear you. Well, you're a transplant karma. Show them what you do in the States. <laughs> She's a transplant, so you could do that. They'll just say, oh, that's that crazy American. <laughs> right? <laughs> Look what she's doing to her yard. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna add, I'm adding more glue than I did the other ones, but I'm just kind of adding some glue, doing a twist on the fabric, adding some more, because I had it left on my hand, <laughs> doing a twist on the fabric, and just going around the, the eyeball. Kids here would wreck it. Ah, Miserable. She says they're miserable. <laughs> What's that? Brain there. Well, I'll show you how to make a noose. Maybe that'll make them behave. <laughs> <laughs> this is what we do to miserable little kids. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I I didn't think it would be that simple to do that. Did you, Kathy? Because no. Kathy was here when we looked it up. <laughs> I'm like, oh, that's just like um, nodding. Funny enough. <laughs> it wasn't even really hard. It wasn't even really. It was just kind of twisty and turny. Yeah. It was like kumihimo. Mm -hmm. It was like kumihimo. Um, we do have Guy Fox, F A W K E S, night on the 5th of November. Just a 500 year old grudge against a guy who tried to blow up the Houses of Parliament. <laughs> They burn an effigy on a bonfire and have fireworks. Oh, I never even heard of that before. <laughs> Interesting tradition. <laughs> Interesting. I keep thinking. That's. I'm. Um, I'm trying to think if we would have anything comparable. Like the only thing parliament wise here is what's happened recently, but and then in the States it was us burning down the White House. <laughs> they don't celebrate that. <laughs> oh well, that was a couple centuries ago. We've become friends. <laughs> we were under British rule then, it's all good. <laughs> all right. Okay, just kind of cutting the ends of that off and I'm just gonna glue the remaining bit down on the back of the flower to tidy it up back there a little bit and have a nice flat surface for me to glue down onto the canvas. But there you go. Twist, turn, glue, go. There's a saying, the only person who will ever enter the Houses of Parliament with pure intention was <laughs> very good <laughs> was him was guy fox there you go awesome i think i've got all my pieces together what do you think that last one was actually probably my favorite 
So here's the eyeball, the eyelashes for the eyeballs. <laughs> okay, so Kathy made made these. I gotta try to fit them in. She says they ha your eyeballs have to have lashes. <laughs> so she just made them out of foam as well. Oh, that one actually, that last one took it pretty well. And she just cut. I'll show you um, close up in the camera in one second. But she just cut some foam. And then like the little spikies. <laughs> that okay? <laughs> to look like eyelashes. <laughs> okay, that's a little funny. <laughs> Don't blink. <laughs> Very neat flower, you have to give it a try. Good, go for it. I hope you do. It's awesome. With or without eyelashes. I'm just wondering, do I cut I'm gonna cut some of them down. Um, let's curl see. Them. Well, how can you curl the foam? How do you curl the foam? Heat the back and go. One thing here that oh, ho, 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 ho. Heat gun, heat gun, heat gun. <laughs> we're gonna frizzle the. We're gonna frizzle the eyelashes. Hold on. Eyelashes are the best. See? Okay, frizzle. Come on, Ben. Come on, Ben. It's doing it. Oh my God, it's doing it. You want some too? Oh my heaven, it is doing it. There you go. <laughs> okay, it worked. They are so curled. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, there's one. Next! <laughs> oh my goodness. The heat gun wrap around. <laughs> All right, let's put a little bit of uh, glue on this set of lashes. <laughs> and I'm just trying to get it so that it's. Where's the spot that I. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Here's a good looking spot. Squishy, squishy. In the rolled bits. For once, I'm not. There we go. <laughs> okay, heat. That's so funny. So I'm just heating the base, and so they're curling back because they're. I think that's hysterical. <laughs> well, I guess because it, well, it's made with little bits of plastic, right? Yeah. It's a foam. Yeah, thing. It is the dollar store. Wow, well, yeah. it is a dollar store. Yeah. <laughs> okay, seriously, that is funny. <laughs> All right, I got a couple more to do. Do you want to do a couple? She say no. You go ahead, you silly fool. <laughs> Should I just do three with and three without? Yeah, let's do three with and three without. <laughs> Will that work with my eyelashes, she says. I don't know, let me know. Give her a try. <laughs> I will not be held responsible <laughs> for, uh, ooh. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to. Here's a spot. Found one. That actually went in really well. Okay, so this one. <laughs> I can't believe it's curling back. It is so funny. Ooh, I melted that one. <laughs> He's got clumpy mascara. <laughs> this one's got clumpy mascara. <laughs> that works. Okay. So three with, three without. We're all set here. Um, I have some leaves to put into the uh, collage. I have some raffia hanging about. And I also have some silks. And actually, before I put this on, I think maybe I'll try that. I was thinking, and I don't know if it's going to show up on screen or not. That's one of my issues here. But I thought maybe I could put some silks. Um, 
the on the phone and see what it would do. Um, maybe I'll just use an iridescent as opposed to a color because it's not going to show an iridescent gold on the black. I'm not seeing my black. I'm not seeing black ice in here, and I know I have it. There's a red. There's a purple. Purple. I have a violet in here. There's blue. Violet. Ha 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 ha. Iridescent violet. And we'll see what happens. Bright yellow blobs of silks on the cat's eyes would be fab. Actually, the cat's eyes, though, are... Um, cut out. I don't have anything there. Oh, look at that. All right. So, whoa. <laughs> Hello. Hold on a second. Can you guys see the color change here? Look at that. You wanted purple. There's a violet. So as that dries, it'll just be like the white will go away. Breathe. Well, hello, silks. This is the iridescence. Shine a light, shine a light. Look at that. Cool. I wouldn't have thought it would have shown that much. The iridescent. Wow. Yeah, the iridescent shows best on the black. Yeah, it's true, but still. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it is very much a purple sheen. And it went on. It went on beautifully. With no water, even. Mm -hmm. I just dry brushed it. Let's do another one. Turn the cat the other way. It's a purpley dago cat. Daglo cat. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm really liking this. I'm gonna put a little bit of um, water on my brush and just see what happens if I fill up, don't be afraid. What's that? I'm going to hatch that on just so that I, if I do see um, any brush strokes. I can't right now see a brush stroke, so that's a good thing. But Look at that. That's pretty spectacular, actually. I wish you could see this in, per in uh, our silks and interference type paint. Um, yes, they are. Um, they, silks also have interference paint, so the metallics and the minerals that are, that are tinted but don't have a pigment base, I think that would be correct, where, where silks are pigment based mm -hmm. glazes with the minerals that make them a luminescent. I think that would be the distinction, hopefully if Leslie's watching from Luminar, I know sometimes she does. A color art or whatever um, I don't know I don't know right now what it is I think it's color art um, she'll uh, let me know so yeah I think that would be a good distinction that would be my best educated guess knowing what the products are made of I like the base of the pro of the silks So, but this, uh, this is a beautiful, beautiful violet interference. Ah, this was, this was a brilliant idea. Like, I'm so glad you said violet, too. Like, look. Um, and it doesn't make it look quite as foamy. <laughs> it's not quite as foamy. How many caps did I do? Four? Should have done more than that. I should have done six. No, I did four. Okay.
So yeah, just a very light, lightly kind of hatched, if you can see me moving my brush in different directions. I wonder if they use mica or shell. Mica is in them. There are other minerals as well. There's a possibility of shell. I'm not sure about that, but it is definitely mica plus some other elements. That's cool. And you know what? Because this was done on the thicker um, foam, uh, all little frayed edges almost looks like the fur <laughs> of the cat. <laughs> anyway, can you see? Shiny. All right, so that's that one. Um, I am so glad we did that. Okay, so next, what do I got? I've got, I should probably do something with the pumpkins too. What should I do with the pumpkins? Um, do I just paint some orange around it or? Or put the gold on the black in there to make it look like the jack-o'-lanterns are on. Cool. That might work. Could always try it. What's the worst, Kathy? What's the worst? Seriously. I usually say it's paper. <laughs> or gesso can cover that. Well, right now this is dollar store foam. I think I can cope. <laughs> I think I can cope. Ginger peach, them pumpkins. Ah, you can't, you happen to know I was thinking that. <laughs> uh, sometimes the pearly things are made with fish scales, but I'm not sure about the silk. Some makeup uses fish scales. Ew, I didn't want to hear that, Karma. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I'm just gonna very lightly just a little shimmer in on the inside of these pumpkins. Probably should have done this before I put the put them together, right? You know, that would have been nice. It's kind of neat, eh? Hello, interference. And let's ginger peach these suckers. I'm so all over that. Ginger peach, ginger peach. Ginger peach. Oh, look at that. What? <laughs> yeah, no, I don't do that. I don't paint walls. <laughs> yeah, I still don't paint walls. I don't either. I'll be trim. So the, oh, you can come and do my trim. But I will not paint the wall like that. No. I had some on my fingies, shockingly enough. Okay, it is after seven now, isn't it? <laughs> I'm loving it. Okay, ginger peached. Ginger peached. Not on purpose. What? No, it's not on purpose. Reminds you of your mom and dad? Yeah. <laughs> it's Sunday. <laughs> mom and dad. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I didn't have to do that. <laughs> okay. I'm really quite liking the the paint. I like that. Almost done here. I don't think I'm gonna do anything to the to the hats though. What do you think? I think they're good black too. If I do anything, it'll be to the the buckle. Well, if you really want to get details. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Kathy, what is it? <laughs> Embracing yeah, a wood burner. And oh and my God! Lines. In the <laughs> okay, I so could. There's one in the back. <laughs> You know, you know where it is? Yeah, I do. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I do. <laughs> Did you hear, if you heard Kathy, Kathy says if you really want to get technical, we can burn that stuff now. <laughs> with like, <laughs> burn the pumpkin lines in. 
I'm all over that. Let's do it. <laughs> oh, we have to find it first, Jen. You know, seriously, that's so disappointing. <laughs> you don't paint walls on purpose. No, I don't. I don't paint walls. Never fear. Never fear. Look at this. Jen. Jen is here. Hot marks. This is from Walnut Hollow. I have had this for 15 years. I have pulled it out maybe three times. <laughs> but I've used it. It's been broken into. Um, looking to see what end I want to use. Probably this one. Nice little pointy tip. Can't remember how to. Okay. Ooh. Screw the little tip in. <laughs> okay. Let's plug her in. This is so funny. I love it. <laughs> now I'll watch the dollar store phone go. <laughs> die, 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 die. <laughs> Has that mask? Yeah, I should. <laughs> 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 All right. Heat up, baby. Heat up. That's so funny. Okay. While that's heating up, I will do the... Oh, those are cute. Aren't they cute? They are. Okay, so what am I going to do to these dudes? Black. I'm like... I'm like <laughs> black? Black little lines for, like, skull lines? Um, <laughs> I'm like crackle paint. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think that'll come off that. That'll come off. Um... And a black. Did I just? Oh, I found the primary element. Silver. Silver works. Green interference. Whoa. Sugar skull. What? I want to sugar skull those things. Sugar skull. Like. We got. We got to get some gems on here too. I have some. I have some rhinestones here. Got to do that too. Okay. Just doing some silver bells. Very subtle. I'm not. I don't. I know you probably cannot see this on the screen, um, but it is very subtle. Actually, it's not bad. Not bad at all, just that little touch, right? Okay, I'll do it on the other and then we'll add some rhinestones. I'm not sm smelling it yet. <laughs> it returns something on that <laughs> I'm not smelling burning. <laughs> touch it. I don't want to touch it. You touch it. Kathy, touch it. <laughs> Kathy, touch it. Where's Chelsea? <laughs> oh, poor co-op student. I'm students. just kidding. <laughs> I'm telling. <laughs> so I kind of roughed it up a little bit. That's cool. Add a little bit of bling to it. You die cut foam to make stamps too? Absolutely. That's This, this foam is what I've had in the studio also to make uh, plates. Uh, texture plates for the jelly plate. That's what this is for. And, and I cut those um, patterns and stuff out of the scan and cut too and put them on a texture plate and off I go. Um, okay, jemmy gem gems. Uh, scan and cut also brothers coming out with rhinestone uh, rhinestone uh, program for the scan and cut. So that was the one thing I really wish we had right now because I'll probably get it like next week, you know, the week too late <laughs> to do rhinestone stuff. Christmas. Oh yeah, can you not see that? Even if I try, even if I want to. What's that? When I just Okay, so I just lost the adhesive off of that one. You grab. Oh, you did not. Kathy's just saying that she. And she did stained glass. Um, she wasn't paying attention and picked it up. <laughs> Her solder iron. That's not good, Kathy. 
you said some choice words. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yes, the gems look very Day of the Dead. Absolutely. Actually, you know what? I'm going to pass this off to somebody here because you guys don't need to watch me do this for the next 10 minutes. Can I get one of you to do this for me? One right around the eyes? Yeah, just put gems wherever. I think we're going to need to um, get little sticks to push them down and get the big popsicle sticks. Cause part of it is like the adhesive's not good enough. So I can't wait till the stuff comes with the rhinestones with brother, I tell you. <laughs> there you go. She's gonna do that for me and see how it looks. And we're gonna do this. Okay, that is painful. I know, tell me about it. She's talking about painful for your, uh... yes. Okay, so let's see here. Oh, one big line. Oh my God. Whew. I should probably wear a mask. Whew. Don't know what's in there. Yeah, don't know what's in here. That's for sure. But wait till you guys see. Okay, that is too cute for words. <laughs> that is too cute for words. Oh, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> well, that worked. La, 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 la. Uh, it's a good thing we've got decent like ventilation and stuff in here. Well, that's just cool. Yeah. Don't. Should probably be doing this with. Uh, definitely good ventilation. And uh, I should be wearing my mask, actually. You know where it is? Jen rocks my world. I'm going to put the mask on one more time. For the one more time. <laughs> this is sweet. <laughs> Do you see it? No, where do you keep it? Should be with the resin. At least I thought it was. No, I don't see it with that. I'm going to grab one off the shelf because. Yeah, putting a mask on. Masks on. There we go. Sally, I hear you. I'm wearing my mask. Tell I'm wearing my mask, maybe because am I muffled? <laughs> Little muffled. All right, we're done. That works. We gotta turn this off. I'm gonna unplug it. Here we go. You put it out of the way for no one's gonna get hurt while it cools down. Whew. How you doing? Yeah, that kind of thing. Um, sure, do we need them on the on the mouth at all? No. No? Yeah. Okay, so we've got silt. Look at that interference. I am. Yeah, please. So Kathy just did uh, little rhinestone eyes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Next. 
getting out the canvas. This is again stretched burlap. We just had a piece of burlap here and some stretcher bars. And we, I just lost my glue, hold on a minute. Oh, I got it. Oh, okay, Kathy has it. Phew, I'm like, really? <laughs> How could I do Those that? Are really <laughs> getting to her. I wore a mask. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I'm gonna put the, the papyrus down, and I'm just gonna. Ooh, yeah, this one's this one's not as full. Now I'm not gonna glue the whole thing because I really liked how that curled, but I am gonna glue it enough. Doo -doo. I love the skulls. I know. So sorry. I was shopping. I need one of those cutters. Heat cutters. Hi, Andy. It's, um, this one's from Walnut Hollow. It is for doing wood burning. If you do it like I just did it, please, 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 please wear a mask. Okay? Because we were burning, we were burning uh, plastic, essentially. You're absolutely right. Foam is made of that. I'm thinking, do we? Anyway, so let's place these things down. I have my noose, <laughs> still kills me. I'm wondering if I should use that noose as a frame like this. I seem to have enough cording. You ain't Kathy. I'm not going to place it down yet until I, or do I want to just go for it? Go for it. Go for it. I'm going to go for it. Don't think, just do. That's what I say all the time, right? So I'm going to put some 3-in-1 glue. Now 3-in-1 glue, again, is a fabric glue. So it's going to grab. I'm not going to do it all the way around yet because I think... We'll probably end up tucking some things underneath the rope. So that's good. Turn it around so that I can see here. We'll start being sucky with you again. Mm -hmm. He just wants to be pet. My dog is here and is totally sucking up to Jen. But then again, you treat him like so well. <laughs> There's no wonder. <laughs> He's a very good dog. <laughs> human. Okay, yeah, he's like a human. Dogs aren't supposed to be like humans. I'm told that every time somebody says, your dog's just like a human. Okay, I am not going to glue the big knot down yet until, but everything else is there. So I've got my little frame. There we go. <laughs> Karma Mozart. She says, hi, Mozart. <laughs> She says hi. All right, so trick or treat. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, oh did he just he kiss you? Oh, he got me. He got you good? <laughs> yeah. All right, so I have some leaves here too. I was originally going to uh, put some silks on these leaves, but um, I really don't think I need to. The colors um, are really good, shockingly enough. Silk flowers from the dollar store. Silk leaves, right? Mm -hmm. So I think I'm just going to start um, building out. So ding, ding, ding. Then I have reds. That's kind of like flower arranging, right? <laughs> Mo 
most of them are nicer than humans. Aw, I think so too. But I have nice humans in my life, so we're good. <laughs> oh, here we go. This glue grabs pretty well. Let's put it that way. This is on, not going anywhere. And let's get some of this on now. I'm so excited about that purple, that violet interference. I think it works so beautifully. I'm a little shocked. But I should have known. It was a Kathy suggestion. Jen. And a Jen. Let's get this in here. I'm just going to start overlapping all these lovely elements. There we go. And the pumpkin. Mozart followed her into the kitchen. <laughs> oh, so funny. I think I want trick or treat up there. Like, uh, sorry, the hat up by the trick or treat. I'll put this down a little bit more. There we go. Okay. Uh, never, never hung anyone. Is a hangman's noose very difficult? Maybe a series of okay. All right. So I said that I would show you guys. I should just get it out and show you. Hold on. Hold on. Um, I have rope somewhere right on that table right over there. <laughs> What's that? She's lassoing. She's lassoing? <laughs> okay, are you ready? Okay. All right. I'm so glad you're liking it, Andy. That's awesome. Okay, so the idea for the hangman's noose. <laughs> I'll see if I can remember it correctly. I only saw the video once. And again, I will post this on my, um, on my website as well. Kind of put it in half. And from this, you make an S. See, see, see my ass? Isn't it lovely? <laughs> okay. Look at my ass. Right? See my ass. Look at my ass. <laughs> Jen is rude. <laughs> um, so then you take, then you take the, the top part of that ass that you just moved around, and you're just going to rotate it around and around until you have, it doesn't really matter apparently, um, how many times you do it as long as it is an odd number they said right so there's five six I don't really have one two three four five six seven I don't think seven's gonna go around so I'm gonna do five okay so once you have this okay get it you're gonna stick this end through the loop on the left hand side and pull it through and then you're going to find which end you need to pull on this loop to make this smaller so this oh I picked it right away so I'm going to pull on this end and what you're wanting to do is to trap this end in the loop that you made okay so ha 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 look at that one hangman's noose how was it? I did good. <laughs> Hopefully you were able to see it because it's on the angle. It's just this wonky little hand, but there it is. So you could chop off the one end if you want. There you go. Don't hang anything too big. Well, I guess you really can't. <laughs> so there you go. Cool. Da -da -da -da. 
Thank you, YouTube. I can put this on the canvas now too, can I? You can do it up here. <laughs> if I do that, I gotta do another one. I have to do three. Can't have two, can I? Can't have two. So starting to starting to put all of these on. I can always pull that tighter, right? Then I can cut it. Do, 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 do. <laughs> very, very good. <laughs> okay, cat's going up here. What do you think, Missy? I gotta put the big uh, eyeballs on here. <laughs> because the eyeballs are gonna take up space. for me to see at this angle to be perfectly honest with you all right I'm gonna stand up I think that's got to come out eyeballs 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 one two three one two three That's why I waited. What do you think of those eyeballs? Number. What's that? Number. Uh, well, I've got six, so I've got three and three. think mm -hmm. this is pretty crazy <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty nuts oh he went out again wow. you Jesus. you you what's that King I don't know what do you think more leaves. oh well I need more leaves I know that but I'm thinking this stuff is that enough like that. Yeah. Mm. And then fill in with leaves. Mm. Good heavens. Yes. Oh, I got raffia too. Can't forget the raffia. Okay. Let's start gluing this sucker down. <laughs> you like the program? I'm so glad you're. <laughs> it's all informative. What's informative? The fact that I'm singing. What are they? What are those people called? One Direction. <laughs> Just kidding. But I'm glad you like the the broadcast, Jillian. I love that you guys come every week and watch this. And for everybody who watches the broadcast recorded, thank you so much. I do love doing these. I really do. This is going to be so much fun. It is a tacky Halloween thing and I love it <laughs> get some raffia and some leaves in there fill her in lots of three-in-one glue stick to that burlap real nicely Oh, 
was thinking the, the, oh, you're thinking of the noose. You love it. You're thinking of the noose, but you like the whole hanging. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I said, I've got rope here. we got to make a noose. Kathy, how do you make a noose? <laughs> Let's figure it out. YouTube will tell us. <laughs> so now, I like this one up here, too. Come on. Now I'm purposely putting glue in the middle of everything so that if I want to stick something else in there, I can. I think I've got it all. Nope. This glue, this three in one glue, it's pretty awesome. It's waterproof too, so. Not like I'm planning to get put it outside, just on my door. I think it's all down except for this now. Except for the noose. <laughs> this is looking pretty funny. I just stuck my finger in a big glob of glue. It will be, won't it? I think it'll be cute too. I think it's hysterical. Hello, crafty. Gotta love those eyelashes. The eyelashes are hysterical. Absolutely. Kathy, you're, you're so funny. Come on, baby. <laughs> Let's put eyelashes on him. <laughs> His feet are cold. Hmm. What was that? What were you doing? Hmm? That's why I'm up on you to warm up. All right. I think I'm going to turn this over. I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing came off. <laughs> okay. So raffia and more leaves. Ah. Uh, fun project. I'll have to make one. I might even do a Thanksgiving one since in the U.S. we haven't celebrated it yet. That's awesome. I, I can't remember. What's that? Canvas doors. I've started a trend. Oh, hold on. Um, and I know embellishments, cut flower oil. The files are on the scan and cut. Yes, they are. I'm just read. I'm just sorry. I'm just going to the backtrack. Yes, they are the little foam, foam things I made out of the scan and cut machine. And uh, I will post on my blog uh, tomorrow um, how I did that as well. I'll show you how I did the uh, pumpkins out of the foam because that's really neat with the different colors all at the same time it's a nice one to do so I will do a little video with that and post it with the recording of this broadcast as well um, so for those of you who are watching this on YouTube if you go to the art house studio um, dot blogspot dot com and I think I'll probably um, call this what should we do so forward slash Halloween door something what should I call it door canvas Halloween door canvas so if you want to do that you can and now I'm just kind of filling in the spots okay those eyeball flowers are still so killing me so he didn't like the truck it was blue <laughs> Well, dog 
rocks are colorblind, so I don't quite understand that. What's that? Like the tone. The tone. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't like tones. Especially my tone. <laughs> All right. It's coming, it's coming. I'm going, I'm going. You could always get some clip art from Google, trace it on your foam, and cut it with a craft knife if you don't have that. Yes, you can. Of course you can. I, for one, love having my tools. I'm just gonna move the canvas over this way so that I can kinda get in there. That works. And I'm working fast for two reasons. One, because I don't wanna think about this too much. And two, because um, I don't want everything to completely glue down in case I wanna move it. So. Ooh. For that reason right there, I want that tail out. And if I do this and glue the tail partially up, that'll work too. <laughs> that's what we did for years I knew but then you get tools <laughs> and you use them and then you never go back <laughs> I love my machines so much fun quick and easy for me to tell up there. I need a red one sticking out. Wow. This is fun and gaudy. <laughs> need to get some raffia on there. I need some I need something in there. I'm running low on leaves now though. I guess that's okay. It doesn't have to be completely wreathed, right? I think I'm down to my last two. Then I gotta add the raffia. I need to have something up there, I think, don't I? works. Yeah. Or down here. It needs down there. What? You're looking for a crow? <gasps> we have crows. We do, don't we? We do. Okay, raffia. Okay, this is gonna be fun. Raffia. <laughs> okay, so what should I do with the raffia? This is so bright and gaudy. I love it. <laughs> What's that? I'm sorry. On the corner. Of Like here? Like, I don't understand. Right on the top. So we be hanging in the door? Right here? Yeah. And the crow can sit on there. Oh, we need to make a nest. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> a ratty one. A ratty nest. It's the end of the season. Because it's the end of the season. <laughs> okay, ratty, ratty nest.
kind of turning it over. Like that. <laughs> Have you found the crow? <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so funny. I forgot I had crows in the back. I forgot I had, look at this, I had these from, they're not, they still have the Halloween sticker on them. Oh my gosh, Jen. It even has the metal through there. I can kind of stick through. Like that. <laughs> Guys, look. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna turn it over. And where's the metal piece? I can't find the metal piece. I'm gonna have to just glue this, glue the snot out of it. <laughs> that is so funny. gosh oh my gosh loving the dimension oh I know it's so funny Karen told us she got the phone from the dollar store yes the stuff from the dollar store worked better than uh, the expensive uh, stuff absolutely because it's just that much thinner so it could fit into the mechanism of the scan and cut better without any um, give because it was when there was give in the foam that it you can kind of see where those vector points were because it would stop at those. The crow's perfect, honest to God. <laughs> I have to make sure it's really down though. Hold on. That is hysterical. I forgot I had that. We had that at a Scrap Fest thing. When Scrap Fest was in October, I bought those for decorate my booth. And I had bought so many. I didn't use these ones. <laughs> that is so funny. Can I put him somewhere else? Can I put this dude down here? Would that be too much? <laughs> At this point, can it anything be too much? Like really? <laughs> Look at that. I wish I had another one. That's like perfect. I gotta put Raffia down here. Is there another one? Oh, no way. <laughs> No, there's a big one. Hold on. Yeah, but how big is big? Because <laughs> I like how this is going. Oh my god. <laughs> Hello, thank you, Scan and Cut and Dollar Store. <laughs> <laughs> The crow almost needs hot glue. Do you know what though? Seriously, Karma, I don't think the crow is going to need hot glue for this. Like this is, it's really, really super, super, super light. It's got fuzzy, felty material on it. It's going to stick like, it's going to stick really well. It really is. Like it's pretty stuck there now. <coughs> Excuse me. And the glue's not even dry yet. Okay. Let's get some more rough. Yeah. Oh my god, that's hysterical. I can't believe we had a crow. Can you believe this? This is like so fun. <laughs> Who knew? Oh, I didn't want to make it look like a bow. <laughs> Rough it up a little more. Like that, right? That is so funny. Glue, 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 glue. Just the big one? How big's the big one? I don't know. I don't think big is too big for that. <laughs> you think big's too big for that? No, I don't think big's too you big. You don't for think that. big's too Oh my god. <laughs> you guys yeah, wait till you see. <laughs> she says, how about big? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's so funny. Okay. 
stuff just keeps coming out from the back room, I tell you. All right, hold on one sec. Oh, you can't tell that was a skull anymore. Well, now you can. That's just too funny. I think, I think. You should sit on the very top. He's not going to be able to, he's not going to be able to, he should sit on the very top? Very top. I don't or know like if. on the hook on your door? On the very top, maybe. However, I'm just not sure if the, if he's too fat. To hang him in the noose. To bit between the, hang him in the, <laughs> <laughs> hang him in the noose. Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> The skull um, is chewing down on the crow. <laughs> he might have had a very... Um, sorry. <laughs> sorry, I'm laughing now too Me much. A uh, hoarder is very scary. Look at them. Now they're calling me a hoarder. My house is like episodes of hoarders where it all started out when people promised to get <laughs> so funny. Okay, so let me just see. I'm just going to pull this down for a second. Oh, it might be okay. You have to put him backwards almost. He's more fun backwards. Because he's kind of looking over his shoulder. Mm -hmm. Look. I think cool. he should be in the corner. <laughs> All right, so here's the deal. <laughs> um, this is funny as anything. Oh my gosh, this is so funny. I just don't know if he'll fit in the door. That's gonna be an iffy one. Because again, you put wreaths that are really thick behind those, right? Mm -hmm. But sometimes they get smishy and they squishy. It's opening in, in between the two doors? Yeah, it's in between oh. the two doors. Cause I have a storm door. I have a screen door. Um, hmm, what do you think? Well then stick them on your outside light. Looking down at it. I'm like, this is just too funny though. I really want to put them on. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, seriously? I can staple them on. What did you say? Shave his belly. Shave his belly? Fit between your doors. Oh my god, that's funny as anything. All right, guys. You think the crow on the top? <laughs> <laughs> the crow should have a voice box <laughs> and a motion detector. <laughs> Dang, why didn't I buy that one? <laughs> hey, hey, want some candy? <laughs> Eat crow and spit feathers. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is so fun. I quite like that. I think it's going to have to stay. I'm going to have to really attach it, but I know you can't. I'm not going to do it now because you can't. It's already very hard to see on the screen. But yeah, needless to say, crows stand. All right, I think this is about as gaudy as it's going to get. <laughs> In this, but it's so much fun. I'm so glad I did this today. Um, this is quite this is quite amusing to me so i am going to take some photos and post it on the board and i hope you guys have equally as much fun with whatever you do for the holidays whether it be halloween or thanksgiving coming up for you in the states and christmas oh can you see a gaudy christmas one like this <gasps> with bells and um you, I, I leave. Elves? Oh, yes. <laughs> Eileen's elf. Where is she today? Anyway, we can all have some fun. But anyway, yeah, on the top, I think this is really fun. And um, thank you so much for joining me tonight. And we will see you all again in two weeks. Because next week I will be in British Columbia. I am teaching uh, uh, some jelly plate classes out in. Uh, um, it's just outside of Comox, near Courtney, B Court I think it's Courtney on the island. And um, if you have any questions for that, scrapbookcentralbc.com. I believe that's a .com. If it's not, it's a .ca. But Scrapbook Central BC. If you Google that and talk to Diane, you get some information about my classes I'll be teaching out there. And uh, I hope to see you there. And for those of you who will not be in British Columbia next week, I will see you in two weeks 
back here at the studio broadcasting again. Okay? Have a fun, fun, fun Halloween. Safe one, Halloween. Have a good one. Good night, everybody.